this episode of Why Sarasota, we're going to meet with Miles here at Sarasota Yacht Club to learn more about the marina operations and some of the benefits that the members have. Stick around. So we're out here on the dock here at Sarasota Yacht Club. Wanted to take a moment to introduce Miles, head of marina operations here. Yeah, Miles Wheeler, waterfront director, Sarasota Yacht Club. This is my, my domain. I take care of, we've got 110 billable slips at the Yacht Club, a sailing center with, I think we had 40 kids come through our sailing school last year. And uh, we, in the summertime, we run a summer camp. And we're gonna be catching up with Dalton too, uh, pretty soon, I think, yeah. to talk to him a little bit more about that. So uh, again, uh, like largest boat that you can accommodate here at the club. So if we, if our tee heads are free and available, we could take an over 100 footer, 100 to 140 feet. Um, with our tee heads occupied, we're looking at like 70, 70 footers probably maximum we could take. There's some inherent benefits to being part of, of, of a club like this uh, and, and a network of clubs. Maybe you could touch on that in, in terms of the marine operations themselves. Absolutely, so we're part of the Florida Council of Yacht Clubs. I believe there's 37 or 38 around Florida, um, the highest concentration of which are actually by us on the West Coast. So St. Pete Yacht Club, um, Tampa Yacht and Country Club, Field Club, Bird Key Yacht Club, Venice Yacht Club. Um, you get your first night dockage free at all these clubs around Florida. Um, you get one free day per month. Um, so actually, it's the reason I came up here is because I started, you know, building relationships with members here at my original yacht club down in Venice. Okay. So it's, I mean, it's just a small world. For folks that have, you know, considered the club, uh, you know, previously, maybe they aren't members yet, anything new coming to the marina specifically uh, in the near future that they should be aware of? So we are currently working on a, a major rebuild of our entire marina. Um, and we are several years into the project already and waiting for permitting. But once everything goes through, we we're planning on having four fully floating docks. Best of the best, concrete, Bellingham floating docks. Just makes for ease of use for all our boaters. Floating docks are really, they're the way of the future. Absolutely. So uh, for someone who's maybe interested in what you do, how does somebody get into this? Well, actually, I grew up in a commercial fishing family up north in Rhode okay. Island. You know, forklift driver at eight years old, to skiff man at 13, to running the 62 foot boat at 23, 24 years old. And I moved to Florida about 12 years ago, and I really didn't know what I was gonna do down here. There's not a lot of commercial fishing down here. Okay. I applied at Venice Yacht Club for their dock master position. Really enjoyed the position. Um, they're a very, it's a much smaller club, but very structured. Okay. Um, and it was really good for me to learn marina operations there. Then, I think I touched on this earlier, when, you know, when their dock master left here, I was sorry being contacted, you know, by our, mem by our members here. Because, you know, you build these relationships over years. Right, and that's another reason why people join the clubs is because you know the familiar faces, the feeling of family. The trust. The trust, yeah. that's right. So I, I mean, we were already building that trust years before I even started here. I see. So I started as dock master here. I spent three years in the dock master position, which is dock master is running daily operations of the club. They're upholding all our rules um, and all our policies. Phil took over that position about three years ago and I took over as waterfront director at that point. So now I oversee Phil and Marina Operations, as well as our sailing school with Dalton and Brett. Um, we have three other part-time coaches on the weekends. Awesome. When you leave the club, what's, your, what's some of your favorite things to do here in Sarasota? So, I have a boat. I live about 11 miles south of here on the Intercoastal, and I love going to Midnight Pass with my son. Very about cool. About a mile south of us. Um, we go snorkeling, we throw the Frisbee, we throw the football around. Um, it's, it's just the best. That's awesome. Thanks, man. Thank appreciate you. it so much. Appreciate you. I want to thank Miles for his time today, showing us around the marina. In the next episode, we're going to meet with Dalton to learn about the exciting camps and learning opportunities available at the club. See you next time.